dramatic opening. I'm El Bristow, you're watching Elotopia Gaming, and we are having a first play look at an early access version of Habitat. This is a game, as usual, I've not touched it, I've not played it, I've not looked at it. In fact, in this case, I've not even looked at any other people's Let's Plays, but I already like the look of this game. This is an orbital construction simulation game thing. Um, as you know, I love Kerbal Space Program, I love space games, so I thought we would give this one a go. It's from a game company called Forgency. And, well, let's get straight into it and see what we have. We're going to start a game. Welcome to Habitat. Commander, welcome to Habitat. Phase 1. And the year, 11,001. We have only a short time until the nanomachines currently taking over Earth Force. Oh, pardon me. Currently taking over Earth. Force us to evacuate up to the low orbit zone around the planet. Orbit is going to become our new home. And that's where you come in. We need you to start constructing livable habitats for the items you f from the items you find in orbit, exploring the orbital junk fields and destroying the automated defense systems that ring the planet. We also have reports that the nanomachines have sent hunter clouds into orbit. Be vigilant. Over the next several months, we'll be bringing more habitat systems online and sending up the first colonists, along with shipments of new types of items to aid you. For now, we need you to get acquainted with building, flying and fighting using your habitat and zero gravity physics. So, I'm assuming we're going into some kind of tutorial mission. We have here camera usage. W, A, S, and D, rotate using Q and E, so that's pretty standard. Left click select, right click cancel, middle click move camera. All looks pretty good to me. How do we skip past this? With a click, there we go. How to build. Orbit is filled with all types of items. Connect items with other items to form a habitat. Line up the bright blue dots. Green means a connection. Two items or more connected together is a habitat, and you can build as big or small as you want. Your engineers are your builders. Reposition them as needed and create more to increase your multitasking ability at a cost. Use the build connection button to re reinforce connections for combat or merge two nearby habitats together. Use the destroy connection button to split off habitats and eject pieces. Keep an eye on your omni resources. The more pieces you put together, the faster you will require omni and you need it. you'll need it to be able to fly and fight. Add on pieces to your habitat to generate resources. Select free floating items. Line up dots to add the items. Your engineers will auto build and repair. Keep them safe. Rotating node when placing Z and C. Okay, that appears to be a T-Rex head. Um, not really too sure what to make of that. <laughs> <coughs> Just choked to death. Let's, uh, let's click to go past this and see what we get. <clears throat> How to fly. You'll need to keep growing, but you'll run out of items nearby. This is when you attach rockets and thrusters and use them to fly. Thrusters can be attached, activated, and steered directly for a precision flight at an omni cost. Boosters can be attached and toggled on and off for fast flight for no omni cost, but you'll need to be care to carefully balance where your boosters are to keep from getting out of control. You can vent omni directly to emergency stop your habitat if it's out of control, but the cost is significant. Use the hot keying system to tag boosters and other objects as needed to quickly turn them on and off. Okay, so up, down, left, and right controls our thrusters. Steerable thrusters, high precision, omni cost to use. Assign available hotkey to highlighted node connector R. Okay, booster rocket, serious power, explosive, no cost. Hopefully that will become more evident while we're playing, because at the moment I'm a little bit confused. 
Nano Machine Hunter Weapon Component Defensive Station. Fighting enemies. Use your habitats to find and destroy the automated defense stations ringing the planet, as well as the Nano Machine Hunter clouds that are searching for targets. You'll find several offensive weapon systems you can attach to your habitats in order to crack the space stations apart. Each weapon system takes Omni resources, hotkey weapons the same way you hotkey booster rockets to create a fully controllable station. Your habitat pieces take damage as they get hit by enemy fire or collide with other items. Assign engineers to, I to the items to repair them if they're hurt. Okay. Getting help, getting detailed information on all the game controls and interface elements through the settings menu. Understand we're going to be placing humanity's future in your hands. Take every opportunity to build, fly and fight in orbit. Very soon it's going to be the only home we have. Good luck, Commander. Use escape or the settings button to access the menu. Okay, so... Next click, I'm guessing, will take us into the game. Yep, we are loading. Join the 509th Ad Astra Perfractura. Not sure what that is in Latin. Okay, so... Okay, on station, ready to start building. Okay, scroll to resume. Didn't mention that in the uh, in the tutorial. Middle button moves the mouse, and we have rotation. So we, it looks like we have two engineers currently attached by a tether, and this is our transport shuttle. Obviously, our centralized base. These are omni thrusters, as were mentioned. Um, click to toggle thruster controls right so we can click that I see I see okay so we can then attach them something like can we rot uh, we rotated it somewhere didn't we oh there we go okay can I change the node it's attached with no okay so we have to attach it like so Unless we... Oh, let's do this. Let's try this. No. That one. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's better. Right. Okay, so he's going to do that. Let's get another one. There's one here. Grab that one. Rotate that around. Where's the keys gone? There we go. Something like so. Like that. Okay. Attached thrusters. Can we then also attach that? No. Oh, is that to activate and deactivate? I see. Global resources are going up. Generated resources going up. Okay. What does connect the new item do? That has sped up the item generation. Okay, okay. Right, so now what else have we got? We have big booster rockets. What are they? They're normal booster rockets. Oh, a robot arm. I like the sound of that. Let's bring that over. Where can we attach that? Oh, we can't. Oh, okay. I'll cancel that then. Um, we must be able to attach that somewhere. Big booster rocket. Oh, I like that. Okay, right. So let's uh, spin that around. Take it out of range and then bring it back and we can attach it somewhere. Okay. Like so. Any more of those around? Ooh, a drill. Lots of interesting parts. There's a big booster rocket over there. It's a bit of a long way away, but he can bring that over. Uh, hold on. Okay, that's a bit strange. It's got different attachment nodes on either side, but never mind. Let's try attaching that and see what we get. Um, there appears to be a tank. A tether launcher. That's probably going to be quite useful. Let's attach that somewhere. Where can we attach that? We need more places to attach things, really, don't we? Are there any more... I'm assuming we can only attach one thing to one node. Oh. Looks like it, looks like it. Okay, so let's try attaching this tether thingy to 
to the front here. I don't know why everything has to attach by weird pipe things, but there we go. Laser prism units, explosive tank of gas, don't like the sound of that. Laser beam, explode another explosive tank of gas, I think we'll avoid those. Stubby booster rocket, what's this? Retrofitted containers, transport containers for ground transport, retrofitted from improvised living, for improvised living? Okay, so we need to attach that somewhere, let's bring that over. So I'm guessing going for, you know, like, symmetrical is probably not the way to do things in this game so let's go for just attaching that on the edge of there and see what we get and hopefully he'll go and someone will go and sort that out once they've attached whatever they're doing there there you go he's off to do that what's this dinosaur head click to toggle flamethrower flamethrower sounds interesting standard living tower Built to coalition code, ready for inhabitants with mixed use retail at ground level. Slight problems with ventilation. Okay, what's that over there? Station core. Interesting, interesting. Cyborg Lady Liberty. Lots of very interesting parts. Laser beam, jet aircraft, wreckage. What's that doing in orbit? Industrial drill. Okay, so let's try out, now that that's attached. Oh, okay, now it's attached. Um, let's have a look at some of these. Create new engineer. Core engineers back to the habitat. Stop your habitat from moving. Build connector. Destroy connector. Okay, so let's see what the boosters do. Uh, right. Oh, I see. Right, is that, are we moving sideways or is that spinning us? Kind of a bit of both by the looks of things, but that's okay, that's that's relatively realistic. Um, quite slowly. Let's try and speed that up a bit. We're going to head in that direction. Although, we do kind of look like we're going to hit that, so I'm wondering if we can, yeah. Let's send someone to go and attach that to something else. Don't really like the idea of uh, running into an explosive tank of gas. What have we got over here? More jet aircraft wreckage. Oh, okay, didn't mean to do that. Looks like, is it like the front of a jet aircraft? Yeah. It's quite a few of these. So we, we seem to be able to make other... Oh, what's that? A ferris wheel? Right. Containers, containers, subway cart. Oh, station core. Right, okay. I think we need to go and... Can we just grab it? Can we start using it? What, what has it got? Tether. Arctic Igloo. Interesting. Very interesting. So if I go try and... Can I grab that? No? No. Okay, I think I may have to go near that. Oh, unless that's defences. That might be the defences that they were talking about. So maybe we should ignore that for the moment. Uh, we appear to have stopped. So non-Newtonian gravity here. Matter accelerator. Um, okay. Not really too sure. Do we have like a, a goal? How to play? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. So it, it's at this stage, I don't, I don't know whether, you know, this is like a plan for a bigger system later, but Currently, this would certainly appear to be very basic in its features. It's very much a sandbox game at this stage. Um, it does look very interesting. 
but I think perhaps I need a little more practice with it before I can say that I am playing the game. Um, let's rotate that around. Any more boosters around? We could do with another one of those. There we go, Omni Thrusters. So we work on that. We'll stick one of these over here somewhere. Hang on, turn around. Is that the right way around or the wrong way? Yes, that was the right way around. I can't attach it to something until that something has been put in place. So let's wait for the guys to bring that one over. Okay. And then we can attach, we can call that and attach that. So, we have 2 out of 10 engineers. We have 7 out of 30 connected items. Is that a goal or is that a limit? I don't know. Um, 8 out of 30. We're collecting this Omni resource relatively quickly. I think we could afford an extra engineer. Uh, laser beam. It's quite tricky to actually attach anything, I find. Um, because it, everything seems to be on one plane. I don't know quite what the approach is. My goodness, look at all that debris. Okay, so there's quite a lot out there to... Um, to have a look at. I'm going to try and head us towards that station or maybe this one over here. What's this? This has got explosive stuff on it. Um, let's wait until these few bits have been attached and then we'll try and fly over to this station and see if it attacks us or if we can just connect up to it somehow. I'm guessing that this transport shuttle has to be attached at all times. Nine parts added. This will be our tenth. Okay, so that's our thrusters. Let's oh, let's activate that one and turn it green. There we go. Let's head in this direction. So movement costs resources. Let's rotate the camera so we can see what we're doing. Woo, this way around. Can we... Ah, no, come on. Right. Um, how do we... I want to rotate the, the whole thing, but I don't seem to be able to do that now. It is rotating slowly. slowly. We're getting there. I'm interested to see if this thing suddenly sparks into life as we get close to it or if it is just some more space debris that we can attach to. If I go for build connector, where can we connect from? Um, anything on? Yeah, we've got one on the front of there. So if we can get lined up correctly, we could get behind the station. Yeah, pretty pretty tricky to control. I don't appear to have any way of telling these things that we want to rotate. So there's a there's a tip to the developers on this one. In theory, these thrusters should be able to, by firing in various different directions, rotate us. Like if that fires that way and this fires that way, we would spin round. 
and that would be really handy at this point because I don't seem to be able to maneuver let's turn that off for the moment I don't seem to be able to maneuver into the position that I really want to be in um, I'm getting close I should be able to connect now somewhere maybe I don't or can't I I don't know can I not connect to a space station core I would like to commandeer your space station. Okay, we're, we're pretty much colliding with it now, so... I'm guessing... We cannot... Connect to this in any way. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so cancel that. Build mode off. So, perhaps we can... Oh, okay. That's the laser beam. Um, drill. Right. So if I move over here, can I, like... See, look, there's some rotation. If I turn this drill on... Will it destroy stuff? Yes, is the answer to that. Anything? Bam! Right. Turn that off. Does that mean this lot is all now grabbable? That one is. They're connected, so I can't connect to that. Right, okay, okay. So we can detach things. See, look, Arctic Igloo. I have no idea what this is for, so let's attach it here. There we go. Another one there. Where did this, the core go? Did that just, like... Yeah, I think we actually destroyed it. So, um, that other one, was that attached to stuff? I think it was, wasn't it? Yes. So, taking a space station core is not too straightforward. Let's grab another booster rocket. Oh. Job complete. There we go. And spin that around so it's facing the right direction. We can attach that. Let go. No. Hmm, okay. Construction is tricky, but there we go. We'll attach that booster rocket. Any large boosters around here? No, they're attached to each other. Can't have them. That's just a normal booster. Okay, okay. Um, if I attach that... That, right, that's pushed us forward. I know how we can rotate. Right, let's disable this. I have to do it manually. But if I fire us forward like so, with only one booster on, ta da! We start rotating. There we go, there's that extra booster attached now. Okay, so we do have an element of control. So, I mean, perhaps I need more time on this. This looks quite simplistic at this stage. I think perhaps there is more to it that I'm not seeing at this point. But um, it certainly is interesting. I like the... Um, I certainly like the idea of it. It has potential. But I think it needs some development. I think it's probably a little bit early in the development stage so maybe we'll come back to this later and we'll have another look at this in a, a later iteration what does this do a transplant from arctic regions this abode is built out of frozen water and yeah whatever so yeah 
<coughs> this is uh, Habitat from Forgency. Um, it's in early access. Cut it some slack. If you like it, head over to Steam. It's available now for you to pick up on the uh, Steam early access system. If you don't like it, don't buy it. There you go. Vote with your wallet. Thank you for watching, guys. I've been El Bristo. You've been watching Elotopia Gaming as we have been having this first play look at Habitat. I will see you next time, guys. See you later.